Hi, my name is Dan Claffey. I'm the founder of Coffee Brand Gifts. I'm here today asking for a $300,000 minimum investment. I'm willing to give 40% equity. I went to a coffee trade show called Coffee Fest. Only 2% of the 500 companies that were at the trade show had coffee novelties and gifts. I said to myself, wow, why don't I develop products for this industry? No one has ever put the famous coffee branded names on the plush toy industry. Did you get the patents or not? Yes, I got all the patents. So then you're the only guy in the world that can make a teddy bear with the word coffee on I'm it. I'm the only guy in the US. All right, Dan, I'll buy that you have a trademark. Why do I care? Okay, I have done surveys out at coffee shops, extensive surveys, and people were kind enough to sit and look at the game and sometimes play the game. Dan, you gotta be kidding me. Do you have any orders for any of this crap? I have... Is there I a have, purchase order for somebody have, who wants a thousand bears with the word cappuccino on it? I have commitments. Probably have, have commitments Dan, from a lot of companies. what does that mean? Is, is that like when I was young and in a bar and a, a girl said she'd call me and never did? I haven't taken orders yet because I'm this close. I just needed just the capital to get the product off the ground. Stop. Wake up and smell the coffee. A million people drink coffee. Not a million people may want to buy bears. The New York Times published an article then two weeks ago. why are there no orders? Why are there no ago. orders? You've completely wasted my time. I'm out. Well, this happens a lot. This happens a lot. Where we got, right, we're, we're bold patents. And people come to us thinking they want to put a patent. Or they want to patent their logo. Uh, patent their name, right? And so... You know, this is not an uncommon question. And even this, this individual, this business owner who actually put a lot of money into developing these products doesn't know the difference between a patent and a trademark, all right? And so let me just lay that out for you all. What, ha what that man did have is trademarks, okay? He had trademark registrations for Java and all those other terms, coffee. We talked coffee earlier with Kevin. Um, so with these, these types of products, right, it's stuffed animals, toys, novelties, that's a classification. There's 45, I believe, 45 different classifications. Normally we have Matt Colseth on, he'd be able to check me on that. Um, so these different classifications of ways you're selling, ways that you're conducting business or services. Um, and so in this, in this opportunity to capture a market, be the only company using a specific word um, in that industry, you can get a trademark registration. Okay, so the trademark does provide that where you have a word, so let's say Java, you could be the only one that can sell stuffed animals or novelties using that word Java. So that's what he held. He did not have any patents from what it sounded like.